All right, this disclaimer is very important because fasting is not something that you should be taking lightly if you've never done it before. You should not be doing it if you're a teenager, if you're a pregnant woman, or if you have certain diseases or problems physically. It's really important to talk to your doctor. Note that every doctor isn't the same. Some doctors are educated in fasting and some are not, so it's important to talk to multiple people. I highly recommend the book, The Complete Guide to Fasting. It covers many, many things. It'll be super inspiring. It's what I found to be my favorite education source on the subject. And with that being said, let's get into the video. I like to be in control of my life. And as I was turning 39 recently, I realized there was one part of my life that was just very overwhelming and I had very, very little control of, and that was my diet. So I wanted to teach and prove to myself that I had control, that I didn't need it, I didn't need anything. I could look my cravings in the eye and say no. And that was my main driving force for fasting. It was not necessarily anything to do with weight loss, but that can't be done if my relationship with food is just a pacifier for all my emotional stress or whatever I have going on. All right, so this is kind of how I ended up after about a week. It's pretty great compared, I think. Uh, it's pretty amazing, to be honest. Um, I can pinch some, but I can tell that it's just, there's a little bit of dehydration, so I feel like if I push <clears throat> my figure poorly, and I slouch, this is kind of where this is kind of where it'll sit in say a week with some water gain, stuff like that. But this is, isn't bad for one week, pretty psyched, so. Now I'm no stranger to fasting. I have been doing intermittent fasting for a very long time. I didn't necessarily keep on with it, but I am familiar with it. And even though that I was used to it, my first day was rather difficult. I want to eat, it's so weird how often you want to eat when, especially when you've made it so that you can't. So I'm trying to reword my brain and my thinking from I can't eat to I don't want to. I just have to kind of face it a little bit and, and that's the best part. That's actually the most exciting thing is facing these things. If I'm not like encountering these problems, then I can't get over them. So when they come up and I'm wanting to eat, just I'm like, cool, all right. And then tomorrow I would have gotten better. Yeah, it's crazy, it feels crazy, but it's not. That's the weird thing, it's not insane at all. It was strange how much stress I had, even though I've fasted every single day for a good year in the past. Okay, here's an update. I have this thing here. It's just a chopstick end that I just found in a drawer. For some reason, I'm getting just super stressed out and my teeth started hurting. It was really, really weird. Um, and it's just because I can't stop thinking about it. It stressed me out. So I'm just chewing on something and it's just kind of giving a little bit of a relief to my teeth. I don't know what it is. It's just like I'm biting down or grinding or something. So this is a nice little relief thing. <laughs> Man, it's a weird one today, real weird. The second day is often cited to be one of the most difficult days in an extended fast. It's been a tough day. It's always the second day is real tough. There's a lot of, a lot of times that I was just like, why am I doing this? I'm hungry, I just want to eat a thing. Wouldn't be that bad to have just one meal. I have to remember, and the way I've been getting through this, is I remember that I'm doing something in particular. I'm fasting for seven days. I'm gonna live up to the word I said I'm gonna do it. And I think that when you do decide to do anything in life, following through is really important. So 
for me, hitting that seven days, I just wanna be true to my word. So that's what's going on today. The mental state that you have in the initial stages is imperative to your success. You need to have your reasons well-defined and know that you have made a decision that you wanna carry out. Update is I just can't stop thinking about food. I want to eat them, I'm not hungry, and that's really weird. All day today, I've been meaning to do something. Basically, I haven't done a thing. My productivity was just so low today. I, I, all I did was visit a friend at her job. The surprising thing with fasting is you think that sometimes it's just gonna be such a nightmare and it gets worse, but actually, sometimes it gets better. It was a good day, it was easy. I actually went out and Met up with a friend of mine. I had myself a black iced coffee. It was great. Tons of energy today, super productive. Crazy, my teeth and grinding and headaches were subsiding. Headache was lower, but it was still kind of there. Other than that, there's not much to report about today, except for it just starts to feel weird. The longer it goes, you're kind of part of it at this point, so it's actually easier. Like, let's say it was sailing, you're out in the middle of the sea already, so it'd be stupid to turn around. So you kind of just accept your fate, so to speak. It is important to know that one of the things I think often today, uh, that would be, there's this book called Four Agreements, and one of the agreements is to, a man of your word is, what it is, uh, having that integrity, telling myself that I was going to do something and follow through with it, it's really, really important. Um, it's a big thing for me to go through because it just makes everything easy because I'm becoming something, I am something. It's very, very important to be of healthy mind in the beginning. The problems and struggles that I could possibly be having aren't really that bad in the great scheme. And my hunger is super low. I'm not hungry, it's just I want to eat super super easy day i'm looking forward to tomorrow happy to see what happens after that it'll be the longest i've ever gone without food which is super weird so uh yeah all right about a month ago i knew that i wanted to do a seven day fast i, I wanted to, to go this like extreme measure as far as i was concerned so what i did is i just kind of kept going and i did my first four day fast i've ever done in my life and it was really strange but i had my little bit of experience to prove to myself and gave myself the confidence to get through some of the harder parts of this seven day fast. So I just woke up like an hour ago. All I've done so far is meditate, go on Instagram, super unproductive, super lazy, super tired. And that's because last night I barely slept at all. I just had like 20 minute chunks and hours of rolling around. Um, and I had nightmares in those uh, pockets of sleep. Completely exhausted, I hate this. The not sleeping is really uncomfortable. Oftentimes we make decisions and then not follow through, but with fasting, you just keep going. And it's a very easy way to train yourself to follow through with your commitments. As far as my relationship with food and all that, don't care, I'm not hungry, feel fantastic. Energy is high when you don't, even if you don't sleep. It's just you feel like crap, so. So I did find that because I wasn't training and I was losing weight, my body just got this really weird shape to it. It was getting slim and just was unstructured. So I wanted to bring in my training again. I woke up feeling extremely energetic and that was because I slept 10 hours straight. It was insane. Must have been just overdue sleep, so on. And uh, I woke up, meditated, then I worked out, but it didn't really go exactly that great. I felt okay, but I felt very weak. In fact, I just was weak. I did not do my normal amount, uh, quite a bit less. I'll show you here in my third set. Um, I actually had to drop the weight a significant amount just to do it. And then I failed on a fourth. It was defeating uh, mentally. Also, at the same time, just interesting that uh, I pushed through it and just kept going and it was okay. I didn't feel like physically or mentally bad. It was just that I was weaker. So the interesting thing about that was that it just keeps going. You, like the hunger is just non-existent in when you're fasting this much. Like it's odd. I can definitely feel very different as a person today on day five because my brain has started to level out. I've just kind of had have this new energy. It's important to just hit the goal and if I felt like it on seven day for any reason to go to 10, 
I will. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm just done. Uh, but overall, I, I'm starting to think about it as something that I think I'll be doing quite often. I don't think I'll be doing it in giant stretches. I'll probably be doing a lot more omad nomad type of living um, because really just being in control of understanding cravings, situational hunger, real hunger, just all that stuff. Interesting, I, I think it's really important to reset your brain to understand what your body is doing. Luckily for me for this particular week, I didn't have to work at all. I had some things I could do from home, but for the most part, I was just doing whatever I wanted. Exhausted, slow, almost delusional. I feel like I'm living in some out of body type feeling, like just kind of etherical. It's super weird. It's not like some magical thing that feels necessarily great, but it is very, very interesting. Just super detached from everything, everyone. I'm just, it's kind of happy feeling, I guess, now that I think about it again. The biggest thing is I'm moving like in slow motion. Just generally, like my, my physical body just doesn't have a lot of energy. This is probably my lowest energy yet. It, it is getting better, but I'm just like not, I'm physically not feeling super great. Last night's sleep was probably the worst night's sleep I had, and it was 10 hours long. Probably about 50% of that, I was having nightmares about eating food and messing up this fast. It's just, it's getting to be a little overwhelming at this point. I highly recommend your focus on drinking water. It's recommended to be about two liters a day, not necessarily too much. Too much can be bad and too little is very, very bad. All right, so update on day six real quick is I just uh, downed a bunch of water. Apparently I was super tired because I was super dehydrated. I failed to drink enough water and I think that was my problem. Oh my God, I felt like crap. And then ever since I started having water, uh, my energy's been up, I feel I'm great. Oh wow, I felt horrible. One of the things that can happen during a fast is when you urinate, you flush out a lot of your electrolytes and I highly recommend looking into snake juice. YouTube that, it's a great little concoction that is just amazing and it'll make you feel so much better. So that's my lesson, enough water. Oh, all right, so yeah. It was so strange getting to the seventh day. I wasn't even hungry, it was just bizarre. <laughs> all right, so today is the day, uh, big day, awesome. I've been waiting for this. Uh, it's strange waiting for food, uh, but I'm not ravenous, I'm not crazy. I honestly could go a little longer. Uh, I feel okay, I'm pretty sluggish. I think that even if I wanted to go further as like a goal point, I think that uh, I'm my body is ready to eat. I honestly would break the fast right now, even if my goal was, uh, the duration was longer because I just think that it's time to break my fast physically. And I think that's really important because I thought maybe that was the case on the fifth day, but I wanted to experiment and so on and I, and I was okay. Made some mistakes. The water thing was just needed more attention. I need much more attention to my water situation than what I was doing. Um, also my exertion levels and my mental exertions. Uh, needless to say, I'm really excited to eat. Yeah, it's really weird because I'm not super hungry. Why would that be? It's crazy. Uh, here we go. Here's my watermelon. <laughs> this seems so rich, so crazy. It's like, yeah. Oh. Mm. It's so good. It's so rich. It's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Like, watermelon has never tasted this good in my life. No food has. Oh my god. Here's the weird thing is that even on my four day fast, I broke with watermelon and it was spectacular. Seven days. Oh man. I also got myself some celery with peanut butter because for some reason I've been dying for peanut butter and I was like celery is good instead of on bread. You know what? This is too exciting to ruin. It's 
talking through. I'm just gonna eat this meal in peace and enjoy every second of it. It's so good. I don't want to make a video about it right now. I'll tell you more if I have to, but uh, I'm just gonna eat this. It's gonna be great. So if you've ever done this, share your tips and stuff in the comments. If you liked it, like it, please. I love to see that and subscribe, of course. That would be also appreciated. But really, uh, I wanna hear if you, you guys ever done this before and your tips and tricks because this is not the last time I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be back to an intermittent fasting lifestyle and I will be doing some extended fasting uh, here and there and maybe I'll make another video on it. But this one was very unique and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So until next time, over. Awesome.